Good afternoon, everybody. Fortunately, I speak very quickly, so I won't keep you uh, too long beyond the end, end, end of the session. Um, just want to give you a bit of context, first of all, about um, the school that I work in. Um, although it says that it's a, a grammar school, it's actually a comprehensive school, a large comprehensive school just outside of, just outside of Leeds. Um, and what I want to talk about, very briefly, is the work that we've been doing over the last year, really, in terms of uh, equality and diversity in school, and some of the ways in which we've um, involved um, our PE department in the work we've been doing on sexuality. Um, the school is a large comprehensive school and despite the fact it's just outside of Leeds and Bradford, um, it's a mainly white school, it's not a great deal of diversity in terms of the ethnicity in the school and um, about a year ago we decided that we really wanted to um, up our game and look at the whole area of, of equality and diversity and what we were doing and we started working towards something called the Stephen Lawrence Education Standard um, which is a, now a national scheme which, am I supposed to push this for next? There we are. Um, which is effectively something which recognises a school's commitment to race equality and community cohesion and we've used that as a vehicle to go way beyond the work we were doing in terms of race and, and, and faith to look at other forms of, of, of uh, oppression and uh, diversity in all its forms. Our school um, has, rugby is very big in our school, our school has got uh, England Rugby Development, Charter Development Centre status um, and so it's very much part of the culture of the school and our PE department were very keen that they would be at the, the, the centre of any work that we do in terms of sexuality. We've used our work in terms of the uh, Stephen Lawrence standard to look at all aspects of diversity, as I say, and we, did, we set our own um, parameters, really, in terms of what we wanted to look at. And this is our diversity wheel of the different aspects of diversity, because we decided that if we wanted to look at things like sexuality, looking at race was a safe way in uh, and there was all sorts of parallels that we could draw working against this, this um, education standard uh, to, I suppose, safely deal with sexuality without getting a reaction, without getting a negative reaction from pupils. Um, and that once we'd explored those basic principles of human rights and fairness and justice and so on, then there was nowhere to go for pupils really in seeing why did those same principles not apply to all groups and uh, not just in terms of race. And our starting point was to set up our um, Student Diversity Forum, which is a group of pupils who volunteered to be part of the driving force in school to make a real difference and to look at diversity issues. And that was their agenda uh, that you can see behind. And what was interesting was in our very first meeting, uh, we started talking about what are our priorities in school, is there a lot of racism in school, and so on. And very quickly they came to the conclusion that actually we don't need to be talking about race in this school really. Of course it's important. But we've done a lot of work on that. We're a specialist language college. We've got partner schools around the world. We do lots of work on global citizenship. But what our biggest problem in school is, is the amount of homophobic name calling, as I'm sure it is in many schools, but also the use of words like gay in a negative context, which kids hear lesson after lesson, uh, around school, in lessons, and so on. And that's what they decided was the number one priority. And so they came up with their action plan of things that they felt that we as a school should be addressing um, over the course of the year. And this is them working on their action plan. And what they actually came up with as their number one priority was not to look at race, but to look at particularly uh, disability and homophobia as the, the, the particular focus. Now that was really powerful because once the students had set that as our agenda, we didn't really have any option but to say this is what we're doing. And the fact that they'd come up with that as their number one priority for the work we need to do in school gave us the mandate then to say, well, this is what you've asked for. Therefore, this is what we're going to do about it. We've used, as I say, race as a safe way into our work on, on uh, equality, on, on um, sexuality, by coming from these other aspects. We've drawn upon what we call student voice in school, the fact that kids have been telling us that this is what they wanted us to do. We set up a group of staff who, if you like, were a parallel to our student diversity group, our staff diversity group, a group of 12 staff that volunteered to come along and look at what we could do concretely in the curriculum. Um, and one of the first things that we decided we needed to do was to train the whole staff and to have a zero tolerance approach to use of language like that's so gay and so on. And we started off using some of the materials, some of the research from Stonewall, some of the quite shocking statistics. That's one of the slides there from, uh, from the training that I did with all of our staff. Actually, under the guise of what was now known in schools as safeguarding, you'll have heard the phrase, and most of us are sick to death of hearing it in schools, because it's one of those big things that's appeared, it's important, but it's taken on this life of its own. But safeguarding, we decided at the very heart of that, of course, is, is kids not about whether 
teachers have got CRB checks and all the rest of it, and the person that delivers the, the bread and what have you, having been properly vetted. It's about kids feeling safe in school. And at the start of that, if we're looking at bullying, it's about kids feeling safe in, in, all, in all aspects of, 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 of work. And homophobic bullying is something we, which we certainly hadn't as a staff looked at previously. And so the bottom line really was that in exactly the same way that we, with race, have zero tolerance in terms of the use of language, that we now have that um, from all staff in terms of sexuality. And again, you know, I was on uh, break duty the other day, just before half term in the, in the canteen at break time, hundreds and hundreds of kids, and one kid calls across to his friend, oh, a faggot, it's one of his mates, it was a joke, it was no big deal. But when I called him over and said, would you shout out Packy across the dining room, he was absolutely shocked, of course not, because the kids know that's not acceptable. But it hadn't occurred to them that actually using the same sort of language in this case, homophobic language, is also unacceptable. And so that's the approach that we're now um, expecting our staff to take. Also, you may know that schools have a statutory duty to record and report all racial incidents every term to the local authority. There is no such thing currently for homophobic incidents. We as a school have decided anyway that we want to do that, and so we now have a database where all incidents of um, discriminatory bullying, um, name calling, whatever, are recorded in the same way um, as racial incidents. Trying to get vis visibility across the school then has meant that we've encouraged our curricular departments to try to, in their displays, reflect this. And PE have really taken the lead here, and I was so proud the day that the PE department put this uh, display up, this is their display on, on diversity, on one of the main corridors in school. And that image in the top uh, left-hand corner uh, certainly had a, a few queues of kids in the corridor stopping and, com and commenting, and staff. And I, it's been the, the shock nature of it was exactly what we wanted in terms of getting that debate going and the conversation. Um, PE, as I say, have been sort of at the heart of what we've been doing in terms of our work on, on, on homophobia, and that was their starting point, really. In terms of the curriculum, then, what we've tried to do is seize every opportunity for getting staff to um, tweak their lessons, to, to flag up issues where they're able to do so. We've had assemblies for every year group looking at diversity in its wider sense and bringing homophobia out specifically within that safe context. Um, we've asked departments to look for ways in which they can easily uh, deal with LGBT issues without totally skewing what they're doing. So in media studies, they're looking at new queer cinema um, because they decided that fitted very well with the module of work they were doing and so something which they've never done beforehand which complemented the work that we're doing elsewhere. Um, citizenship programme is a, has been a really easy way for us to look at this whole area because it fits in so well with the values uh, education that we're trying to provide there, certainly at the moment. So we've made use of the Stonewall uh, Fits DVD, which is a fantastic resource, uh, which we've been using with all of our Year 10 students. We also work with a, a London-based theatre and education company called Caboodle Theatre uh, and Education, who came up and did a production called Boxed In with all of our Year 9 students and workshops throughout the day. And again, some really powerful stuff there in terms of getting kids. I remember very specifically being shocked when in one of the workshops kids were asked to line themselves up in the hall along a line according to the extent to which they agreed with this statement, people choose to be gay, and the whole form went to the side that meant yes, they do make that choice. And I realised what a huge amount of a, uh, way we had to travel in terms of looking at some of those issues and some of those assumptions that our kids have. The year uh, has culminated, as I sort of come to a close really, with our diversity festival, which we chose to call Same Difference, the fact that we're all different, but we all have those same, or should have those same rights, and are basically the same, where we looked at that wheel of diversity, uh, and we had a big celebration week where um, we looked at diversity, we called it a festival rather than just a week, it was just a name really, and we structured the week in such a way that every department was asked in the first part of the week to find one aspect of di that diversity wheel to deal with, with at least one of their year groups and at least one of their lessons, in addition to of the whole school events and we were really pleased that PE were the department that wanted to champion uh, sexuality and we started the week very deliberately on the Monday with a launch event um, based around sexuality and sport and gender roles and Lou Englefield from, from Pride Sports came in and worked with our year 7, 8 and 9 students throughout the day uh, and led workshops really powerful workshops really on, on stereotyping, on gender roles got the kids to name all of the, the um, LGBT people they could think of from the world of entertainment and music and then to do the same from the world of sport and to see that big difference in terms of how quickly they dried up in terms of those names and then to look at why that should be. Um, got them to draw their, their idea of a stereotypical sporty man and then their stereotypical gay man and to look at the difference. Big concern of uh, staff in RP department is not just the fact that um, 
certain sports are seen as being non-feminine, but the fact that sport generally is seen as being non-feminine and that there's a big dropout from our girls as they get into year nine, year 10, very sporty girls who decide that it's no longer feminine because of that pressure from boys to be continuing in sport. And so they were desperate for us to explore some of this work. And that was a really powerful day and led to, on the same day, some mixed gender uh, rugby and netball with boys and girls playing sports together. Um, some images there of the work that, that Lou did with those, with those kids on that day. That, as I close, um, was really highlighted throughout the school by making use of the Some People Are Gay Get Over It campaign from Stonewall. And our PE department on the Monday wore these T-shirts. I bought 15 of these T-shirts, and we had this system where we were washing them every night because <laughs> staff wanted to wear them throughout the week. And so what ended up being originally the idea as being Monday's focus of sexuality ended up being the focus for the whole week. And I'm very, very, very proud of this, the fact that I made bunting out of... <laughs> Uh, some people are gay, get over it. Uh, <laughs> and the corridors, the whole school <laughs> was adorned with this. It was in your face everywhere. Every member of staff that wasn't wearing a t-shirt wore a sticker. Every classroom in school, the changing rooms, everywhere had one of those posters. There was nowhere to go for the kids. There was nowhere for them to be homophobic in their response. There was nowhere to, to respond in terms of uh, a, a negative response because it was there, it was in their face, and it was every cool teacher, it was every strict teacher, it was every member of staff teaching assistants and so on, that were supporting this, giving uh, the United uh, Unified message. Um, and so, for us, that was a really powerful uh, end to the year and uh, the distance that we travelled. That's the end of me talking really about what we've done so far. This term now, what we're coming to do is to look at where we go from here, because what we don't want is a one-off week, a one-off festival. This needs to be ingrained, obviously, in our practice as a school and our student diversity forum, a meeting later in the week, to look at what we do next and where we take it from here. The big thing uh, I should say is that, of course, I was inundated throughout that week with pupils coming up saying, we want to wear a sticker, we want to show that we believe this as well. And that, I think, was one of the most powerful things for me in terms of that's where we go next year. It's about the pupils. We've got the staff there. We need to make sure we've got all the pupils there as well. Thank you very much.